But you can tell. The unpredictability. Yeah, yeah. All right, underway, 157-pound semis. we got Jason Nolf, top seed, top rank from Penn State. He's taking on Paul Fox of Stanford. Fox, an All-American a year ago for Stanford Cardinal. In a front headlock now is Nolf. You never quite know. He'll rip a headlock. Sure. He'll hit a Nolf roll. Doesn't matter. He'll let you in real deep like that. And then he'll say, all right, now I go to work. Now he's sitting around, attacking the far leg. He's been one of the more innovative guys. Mm -hmm. Changing the sport. Yeah, changing it, and, and especially with the danger rules. Yeah. We've seen him innovate tremendously from those positions. Now, still scrambling around. Fox not in bad position yet. And now they're going to go off the mat out of bounds. And I, and another thing that I like about him, and you, you said unpredictability, and you said he's going to rip a headlock, and he might, and he might get taken down trying, and he doesn't care. And there's a nice little finish, kind of a whips him around there on the leg, and now immediately going cross face cradle. Boot in. Fox controlling that leg, maybe making things difficult, but maybe not so much as he looks to crunch again. Now comes out front. That was one of the more charitable cuts by Jason mm -hmm. Nolf. Norman he'll like at least kick your foot on the way out. <laughs> Just lets you, he's never quite sure if he's actually cutting you. He, he gives you a different look every exchange too. It, it, you know, you say unpredictability and you, you, when you, you say that, some people think of, well, he's hitting Snap. one technique and hitting another but he's giving you a different look every time. Sometimes he's in a square stance, sometimes he's in a sugar foot stance, sometimes it's righty, sometimes it's lefty. And now single leg draped over the top, looking far ankle, see a little more Penn State far ankle magic. Oh, he's got him, danger rule, start counting. So he's he getting two, out. and now here comes the near fall points. That's a six pointer that Paul Fox never has seen in his life. Mm -hmm. How about this? I have, I, I've seen him teach that. Yeah. And no one else could do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, n not really uh, considering the health of the shoulder there. As he gives up another escape, it's 6-2. Should be 6-2, I think. 8. 8, yeah, excuse me. And immediately Fox back in on another leg because, well, I don't know why. Got a better shot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a better idea for him either. I don't either. There, I mean, what's the alternative? I'm not sure. Sock full of nickels? I yes. Don't know. That's about it. See what I'm saying? Like, he, he's switching lead legs on him. Yeah. You just, you, you're never going to be comfortable on the mat with a guy like Jason Nolte. Talking with the, uh, another D1 coach last year about Nolf, and he said, you know, one of my favorite guys, he said he's like a dolphin. He just has extra, like, sensors in his body and that makes him just such a freak. And that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a funny way of putting it. Yeah. I like that this ref just took a nickel and painted it red and green on each side because it's, it's the smallest ref coin I've ever seen. Okay. Nolf going to go under. Claw from Paul Fox. And a very deliberate baby stand. And now. Good fakes. Getting reaction once again on the leg is Paul Fox. And that means not much. Out the back door. Again, this Penn State far ankle stuff. He's going to do it again. Oh, I told yep. you he's going to do it again. Yep. Fool me once. <laughs> He's, I mean, you see him oh setting it up. Gosh. Yeah. Oh. Golly. That should be a pinfall uh. soon. 120 to go. That's it. There's the pin off the jujitsu magic, whatever you call it. Nolf continuing to innovate.